Hello makers and welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, a special welcome to you. I'm Joanna and this is Stitching the High Notes where each week I share what I'm currently making, whether it be knitting, sewing, crochet, cross stitch, whatever creative rabbit hole I may be going down at the moment, as well as a look at what I am making for my small business where I create project bags and curate tools for makers like you. My hope each week is to encourage and inspire you to nourish your own creativity and to stitch joy or the high notes into your everyday life. How are you? I hope that you are well, that you've had a wonderful week. I am well, it is bright and sunny. The clouds have parted a little bit here on Saturday morning. I am looking forward to catching up with you all. I have a recast on project, <laughs> a cowl to share with you all, and a little bit of lifey chat and kind of some things that are continuing to happen here uh, behind the scenes with the business side of things. Um, and more. So if you haven't already, grab your knitting or stitching and a lovely beverage and let's catch up. Outside of working on several things for the shop at the moment, I have one project that I worked on this past week and that is my new cowl project that I recast on after through the course of sitting down and chatting with you all. <laughs> realized I did something very wonky and crazy, which I'll go into detail about, but I needed to recast it on and I did. Yay. So this is the tale as old as time. Cowl is the pattern that I am using. It's a pattern that I've used before uh, by Anne Valley of Little Skein and the Big Wool. And it's made for using self-striping uh, yarn. You could use it with any kind of yarn that you want. What you do is you knit in the round at this kind of width, you get a nice kind of cozy, double-sided, if you will, cowl. Um, and when I made this in the past in 2017, it was one of the first things that I shared here on the uh, channel. Uh, it was quite long, it was actually two large skeins kind of put together themed on Beauty and the Beast. Uh, and this time I'm using one beautiful skein, uh, which I will tell you about here in a second. Uh, and I just needed something really easy peasy to knit in the round as I'm in the height of uh, sewing things and curating things for the shop right now. And a lot of my making energy is going there and I'm just needing at the end of the day something cozy and cathartic. And this fits the bill once I read the pattern more carefully and cast it on correctly. So first, let me tell you about the yarn. This is beautiful yarn made by Woolens and Nosh. And the colorway is Falling in Love, F-A-L-L, -L, for autumn, Falling in Love. And it's a collaboration with Earth Tone Squirrel, Denise. Uh, and this was a wonderful gift from my pal Denise uh, for my birthday last month. Oh, I just love all of these colors. Just oh, perfection, autumn perfection. It is, here's the ball band. So here's Denise's logo and here's Woolens and Nosh. Love the logo as well. It's 90% and here it is wound up too. It is 90% uh, superwash targi and 10% nylon. So it's got a wonderful kind of toothy feel to it a little bit. Oh, I love it. Um, it is a three ply, 411 yards, 100 grams. And I neglected last week to share that it also came with this mini skein. It was a sock set. Oh, look at that beautiful color. And I am gonna save this to use for future socks um, uh, because the color is, I believe, in the self-striping yarn already. So I'm good to go there. But I'm gonna use every little bit of this to knit up into this cowl. So the story. <laughs> so if you saw last week, oh, I just love all those colors. 
I um, had cast on, it's like, it's hard to describe. I'm just going to share. I don't think I'm really giving too much of the pattern away because it is a paid for pattern that I highly encourage you to check out if you don't already have it in your library. But uh, it said to use uh, Judy's magic cast on and cast on a certain number of stitches and then start knitting in the round and then I just was like I don't understand this but I was so eager to just get something on the needles last week I needed it I need and I have continued to need knitting with beautiful colors and it's what we all love right and uh, seeing the changes of the colors and just knitting in the round and not being able to you know being able to not have to look down at my knitting all the time and um, It's just been wonderful, but in my eagerness to get that release <laughs> that knitting release I glazed over crucial parts of the pattern <laughs> Which is that you were supposed to cast on with Judy's magic cast on onto two sets of circular needles you know, I'd made this on the vlog, so I actually looked back <laughs> to try to figure out what I did wrong because I still was glazing over reading the pattern. Hello, cognitive overload. Um, and I watched one of my old vlogs, which was surreal and slightly cringy, but also filled with gratitude that I have a record of that bit of my life. and. I was making this and I saw this other pair of set of needles on there and I was like, what? And then it just all started to come back to me, all of the memories of making this cowl. Lo and behold, you cast on with two pairs of circular needles so that you have this on waist yarn or uh, you have this on a pair of needles. You knit to a certain length, which I'm almost at. It's at three, supposed to be at three inches. So hopefully as I chat a little bit more with you here in a little bit as I'm knitting, I get to that point. Uh, and then you do a three needle bind off. You knit a little bit more, you put it on waist yarn. Um, and then you continue on knitting until you get to the end. And I'll pick up from there later down the line to kind of let you know um, without giving too much of the pattern away. I feel like I might have already, but you know, okay. But um, yeah, it's a really great, there's many different ways that you could do this. You could just literally just cast on with 16 inch circulars, which, which some of y'all were reminding me about. I like actually, and I think I might've mentioned this in the past vlogs, I actually like doing the magic loop because you get a nice kind of edge not that you couldn't block it to do it but as you're knitting you're kind of reinforcing a nice clean edge to the cowl to let it sit beautifully on your neck um, without having to rely on like fully deeply wet blocking it to kind of get that there at least that's what i found and it's held up really well over time my other cowl that i've had and um yeah so i'm getting close to getting to that three inch mark and then i will do i will try to you know get my cognitive skills going on a <laughs> weekend again uh and do what needs to be done per the pattern and then it'll be back to blissful knitting in the round and that's basically what I've done knitting wise this week. Um, I'm really, I'm itching. I'm going to just start knitting right now because I'm itching to kind of pick this up. It's been, it's been probably about a day since I've knit um, just because I've had to focus on other things. But, uh, oh boy, I tell you, I'm just going to launch right now into a little bit of lifey chat. Oh, uh, a heads up. I didn't get a chance to stitch this week. I am working on a cross stitch ornament. Um, I did, uh, uh, decorate a little bit more for Halloween as you could see I'm getting more and more into the spooky season mood I'm wearing my Sanderson sisters t-shirt that I got um, for a hocus pocus 2 party I had with my family last month and then I've got this nice like new black kind of witchy-ish uh, sheer top that I just put on over it I've been wearing some leggings that I have on now that have like little Mickey uh, pumpkins and it's just been fun like i'm still kind of nesting and moving into my new home it's only been a, a handful of months since i moved this summer um, and so decorating 
felt really good and kind of pulling out some of the things that I've had for several years, just being in that uh, place in life now where I have decorations that I've had for more than five years that I can decorate with. That might sound odd to some of you all, but I am a former opera singer and uh, for most of my adult life, I've been prepared to uproot and leave and go to France for two months or go to Germany for a couple of months or something like that. And um, now it's I'm getting more rooted and to have things like that just feels so, so cozy and wonderful. Um, and to have it in this new home and have my family come over and see it. Some of these things they haven't ever seen. So it's, it's, I'm still in awe and full of gratitude. Um, what else has been happening this week? I did my mega commute again. So I did go down to the city, um, at least one day this week, this past week, um, which was lovely. I needed a break from fall allergies have hit me big time living in a new area that is full of trees. It is a city in Sacramento in California. It is full of trees and rivers. And uh, my doctor, when I got uh, set up with new doctors out here, gave me a warning. She's like, oh, you have asthma? Let me know if you need extra medicine <laughs> when you get to fall. And it's been like that. As long as I keep my kind of inflammation in check, I, I'm okay. But there have been a couple of days where it's been a little crazy. I've actually been thinking about um, making something called fire cider. I don't know if any of you have made it before or heard about it. I just know a little bit about it, but I actually um, have found a couple of videos um, that I'm going to watch. If they're good, I'll, I'll definitely let you all know if you're interested. Um, I'll give you the link. Um, I haven't watched them yet. So, And then I just purchased a book uh, with recipes. And what it is is uh, kind of an old school homebrewed remedy of an Im immunity booster and it's with um apple cider vinegar hence the you know cider part of it and then you add fire which is uh garlic and ginger and peppers and all kinds of stuff to really cut through the phlegm that builds up at this time of year or in the spring um and yeah i've just been kind of hearing about it and wanting to do it and i've been buying a lot of um it feels very wasteful and financially and also you know in terms of waste um but i've been buying a lot of those immunity boosters just trying to kind of continue to kind of cut through um all the gunk and stuff because when it builds up that's when you get sick that's a lot of years of being a singer it's like i think i'm always just going to be hyper aware of this area <laughs> right here um and staying well so yeah, so I'm, I definitely will report back once I kind of do that and kind of figure that out. Um, what else has been going on? Hmm. Uh, I guess a couple of other things this past week that have been really inspiring me um, have been these new double wall glass glasses, mugs, whatever you want to call them, tumblers <laughs> that I got um, from Fellow, which is a, a coffee kind of gear company. And I've been on the hunt for some without like a handle. I really liked having like a, I mean, I have mason jars, but I love the double wall for holding in the heat. And I wanted something, I drink a lot of tea now. Um, I just have one or two cups of coffee in the morning and then throughout the day, I'm just in full tea mode. Uh, and I really love looking at the colors of the various teas. Today I'm having, if you're an old school uh, channel subscriber, I am drinking some Earl Grey, which is what I used to always drink all the time. I'm kind of back to it at this time of year. I think it's more of a, I don't know, it's more of a fall time kind of thing for me now. I'm gonna have a little sip here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so good. It, I have a couple of different brands that I really love. I love Numi. Um, this is kind of my go-to loose leaf uh, tea brand company, Magic Hour Tea. I really like this one. Um, yeah, so that's something that's really bringing me joy this week outside of my joyful knitting project. I'm going to put this here and hopefully knock, not knock it over. I actually got something for my little 
couch here so I can kind of set something there. I'm kind of getting used to trusting that. Um, and then, uh, oh, the last thing I wanted to share with you that's bringing me joy as well is uh, I love video games and I have a Nintendo Switch that I got several years ago. So grateful that I have one and I because at the time um, I'm grateful that I have one because at the time they were like super sold out it was 2020 so everybody and their mom seemingly was getting a Nintendo switch but anyway uh, there is a new game called Dreamlight Valley which is a Disney Animal Crossing esque slash Zelda esque <laughs> Legend of Zelda esque game I'm loving it. Are any of you playing it or do you have kids or grandbabies that are playing it? I am loving it and I find myself like when Minnie comes on the screen, no spoilers on the storyline, I realize I had the biggest, silliest, young six-year-old me smile on my face seeing Minnie. <laughs> I just... I love it. It's just so wonderful and cathartic. There's some days where it's not like my go-to because it's quest driven and it feels a little bit too much like my task list each day. But um, but when you get into kind of the story, you get to go to different worlds. Like I, I went to Moana's Island and it's just, I, it's a pure joy. And you know, I, I, hopefully knock on wood I can be 90 or 100 and be playing these games and having this much joy I just think it's wonderful and finally to wrap up this week's short but hopefully sweet uh, visit with you all is just to give you another update on the shop what's going on in the shop uh, holiday boxes are in full throttle production right now um, I am hopefully gonna be uh, starting to ship things out next week uh, international orders will be going out first uh, and then in the over the course of the first two weeks of November US domestic boxes uh, will be going out these are holiday boxes my second annual ones that went on sale in uh, early summer late spring um, they were pre-orders um, and once everybody has received theirs and opened everything up come in January I will definitely share all of the details with you but in the meantime there's not a lot of behind the scenes uh, sewing and things to share for the shop for the next few weeks um, because of said surprise treasures <laughs> that need to remain a surprise um, next weekend before Halloween uh, is when my mom and my auntie are gonna come over the course of a couple of days and help out. So I'm very much looking forward and kind of preparing for that as well. Um, and in the meantime, just wrapping up bags, I got one uh, collaboration off into the mail uh, for Nina of Speckled Finch Studios. I made some notions bags for her advent uh, calendar. She's a beautiful indie dyer out of San Francisco. And then I'm wrapping up some drawstring bags for another collaboration. Yes, there are a lot going on. <laughs> uh, for another collaboration that I am doing with Trilogy Yarns, Nancy of Trilogy Yarns, for her uh, advent uh, boxes. Uh, she is an indie dyer out of uh, Oregon. And actually, let me double check that. Sorry, Washington. I knew that I had to double check that. I knew that wasn't right. Out of uh, Washington. So um, yeah, I'm making some drawstring bags for a uh, Schitt's Creek uh, themed advent box, which has been a lot of fun to put together. Uh, and then I believe it or not, I am already starting to prepare and do a little bit of pre-production work, if you will, for Christmas bags and collections and stitch markers and all kinds of good stuff that I can't wait to share with you all. Uh, come about mid-November um, in terms of kind of behind the scene I can start sharing like uh, sneak peeks and behind the scenes footage and whatnot uh, and my target is to get those to you all um, for a shop update November I think it's 26 small business Saturday um, I'll put the date if I haven't already up here on the screen 
Uh, and in the meantime, if you are in need of some notions or some bags uh, that are autumn or Halloween themed, um, if you're getting fully into spooky season, there are some goodies still in the shop. Um, I'll leave links or everything are down below in the show notes. And uh, I'll try to be better about sending a newsletter out and some posts as well to give you all a heads up. There, there are still some goods. I stocked it up real good. There are some things that are sold out, but um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you're able to nab something that catches your eye and inspires you. With that, I am gonna wrap it up for this week and get back to my little studio space over there. I hope that you all are well, that you're taking time to nourish your creativity, please do share what you are making down below. I loved reading what you all are making last week. And as always, I try to comment and reply back to you all. If anything, I always read every single one of your messages and love them and hit the heart button on the comment. So please know I am so grateful for your comments and for uh, our community. Um, and what else? Oh, I haven't done this spiel in a while. <laughs> but I feel like I, I, I feel like a little bit like I should be a good YouTube channel creator, if you will. But if you liked this vlog, if you love this channel, and if you love having these visits each week, I would so appreciate you leaving a like. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and joining our community here. And if you would like to go a little bit further, and you do not have to, but if you would like to support this channel and help me continue to create uh, content like this weekly and more in the future, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter. There are lots of benefits, including discounts to the shop, early access to uh, shop updates, a Discord community, um, weekly Zoom uh, stitch chats, uh, behind the scenes footage, and a lot more coming down the pike. I'm in the process of kind of updating some of those benefits and behind the scenes goodies. So links to everything are down below again. I am gonna get back to a little bit more knitting before I head back over there because uh, yeah, I wanna get to that three inches. So <laughs> more on that next week as well as uh, maybe some stitching. Uh, maybe I'll get back to the stitching. So. Hope you all are well again and see you next week. Bye.